When designing a part and selecting a tolerance grade for the features, I also need to keep in mind how the part will be manufactured. The chart shown here will help me make my final tolerance decision. The gray shaded areas show what tolerance grades the listed manufacturing methods are capable of producing. When using this chart as a reference, I must also keep in mind the cost of each manufacturing method and if we have the capabilities in-house or if I must send the product out for machining. For example, if this 5 8 internal diameter of the bushing is designed with a tolerance grade of 4, then it must be honed to its final size. Even if I have a hone in my shop, I need to consider the cost. Honing is a process where fine stones are in a tool such as this one. The tool is spun and moved up and down inside the bore. The honing tool typically has springs forcing the stones outward or inward in the case of an external boss hone. Honing is a slow process which removes very small amounts of material while producing a very good surface finish. The diameter of the feature being honed must be checked frequently to ensure it does not go oversize. Adding to the cost of honing is also the required hole preparation process. A hole would not be drilled and then honed because this would leave too much material for a hone. Prior to honing, a hole is typically drilled, reamed, and then honed. Or, if the hole position is critical as well as the size, it would be drilled, bored, and possibly reamed prior to honing. The tight tolerance and excellent surface finish of the hone will produce a quieter running part, but is very costly. Since this bushing is part of a caster assembly, honing would not be recommended. If a tolerance grade of 5 were acceptable, then the final hole could be produced using honing, cylindrical grinding, or diamond boring, again all costly slow processes. A tolerance grade of 6 would allow the final hole to be manufactured using a reamer, making this a significantly less costly feature to produce. When using these charts, please keep in mind that they are for starting reference purposes only. Always consult the experts you have in-house. For example, the chart shows the boring process cannot hold a tighter tolerance than the grade 8. I would suggest that any competent toolmaker using rigid machinery and a good boring head can repeatedly maintain a tighter tolerance.